we can do three things with a wedge when we're hitting shots. So I've got a 54 degree right here. And you've seen people chipping with, you know, the old, like Steve Stricker, no hands at all. Right. Just that really rigid move. So that's no wrist action at all. So one of the ways you can chip, and it works really well for a little delicate, like if you're right here, uh -huh. that shot works pretty well. So that's the no wrist action shot at all. And then the second one's the one Phil Mickelson uses, where you hinge your wrist, he calls it hinge and hold, where you let your hands hinge, and then we turn through more aggressively with the body, and that flights it lower, and you hit it harder, obviously, but it'll roll out a little more. And then the last one is hinge and unhinge, is we can take the same club and we can hit three totally different shots with it. Oh. And it's pretty fun. I've been playing around with it recently after seeing it demonstrated to me. And on the course, a lot of times I'll get out there and I'll look at the shot and go, oh, this one's going to call for a none to none, or this one's going to call for a hinge and hold, or this one. So if I can successfully demo them, so I'll go to the short flag, I'll go none to none. So I'm going to try to make it almost a putting stroke. And all I'm ever trying to do is just brush the grass. This is like, I call it Steve Stricker. His hands are just... So you get a lot more margin for error on that one. Like I hit that sloppy and it worked out. And then if I was going for that farther one, I might do the hinge and hold, wrist hinge, and then I'm gonna turn my body through and I'm gonna drive it without swinging any harder. It's gonna fly farther and faster and roll farther. In fact, it's going a lot harder grab one I thought and then the last one same club if I want to fly it way back there I'm gonna hinge and unhinge so we're gonna get three different ball flights with the same wedge it's not online but it's fun to play around with it yeah. we all know a lot of times knowing it's the right shot whether it is or not is more important than you know just being committed to it right strange how different the wedge will react. I can even do that hinge and hold and hit a low 60. And then hinge, unhinge. So all you're doing is relaxing your hands a little more. This one definitely makes it go farther. But it'll land softer too, because you're going to add a little off. And you can exaggerate this one and even hit it higher if you just really get John Daly soft with it. Full <laughs> hinge and unhinge with a 52 degree. <laughs> yeah, be pointed because I have a tendency to get everything this way. Right. And um, you know, I know that if I just or start to you know dial that one differently, like uh, if I do this, right, you get the hands back. I have. I always feel like I'm going to snap hook it. Push and the snap hook or close. Are they? Relatives, oh yeah. Oh. Because I, I know when I snap hook it anyway, I usually have too much of this. Oh. And that's going straight right. And somewhere right here, my brain goes, that's going straight right. <clears throat> I feel my hands do that, and then you, every once in a while, I'll catch it perfect. Yeah. Like, whoa, that was a good catch. Oh my God. 